What's going on everybody? It's Cool Period. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. 100 with Cool Period, man. So, you see the title of the video. I have a confession to make. And here goes. I used to be a simp. There it is. It is what it is, man. Used to be a simp. And I'm making this video because I'm trying to keep more people from going down that path because it's actually easier to get there than you might think. So basically, we're going to get into a little bit of a story time with this one. Um, so I got my juice right here. And I'm gonna break it down. So, years ago, years ago, I was fresh out of a relationship, you know, kind of felt weird for a little while, for a few months. And I was working, this is, this, this seems like it was so long ago, man, because I've come so far since then. Um, I was working at this gas station, man, and I met this chick that worked at the gas station with me, and you know, she kind of started trying to holler at me, and I was fresh out of this relationship, and I was just like, you know what? Why not? Why not, you know, go out with this girl, see what she's talking about, right? So I do that. We ended up hanging out or whatever, and to make a long story short, we ended up in a relationship, right? So I started to notice some things that were a little off about this girl. Um, she would get real emotional sometimes. Uh, she might cry, she might get angry over, you know, small things. Um, that's something I noticed. And kind of threw me off a bit but then it kind of flipped a switch in, inside of me like it flipped a compassion switch inside of me you know what I'm saying I'm a guy who always you know sort of cared about people you know natural um, instinct to just try to look out for people around me or whatever so that kicked in, you know, I'm trying to see what's going on, what's wrong, and we we get into it, and the relationship kind of, I feel like the relationship kind of was built off of that, and she was always going through something. Um, fellas out there, you've probably have seen women like this, or, you, or you've heard about it, and this video isn't just for the fellas, it's for the ladies too, because there's guys that are the exact same thing um, that I'm describing with this girl. So anyway, we're into it and you know, I feel like I have a lot of time and energy invested into the situation. And you know, one day I looked up and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm in a, I think I'm in a bad situation. And this is after being warned by my friends and, you know, family. Like, you know, this girl may not be good for you. I was ignoring all of that stuff. And the reason I was ignoring all that stuff is because me trying to be a kind person, trying to be a good person to this woman, like, I was overlooking a lot of stuff. I was letting way too much stuff slide. Now, if you would have told me before I got into that relationship that I would have basically just been simping and getting disrespected, I would have told you, no, nah, I'll never let a girl do that. But the thing is, because of my kindness, I would always give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, she's having some issues. You know, some things are going wrong in her life. This is why she's doing that. I'm going to let that slide. You know what? I'm going to just fall back. I'm going to chill. I'm not even going to 
go in on her about that. I'm not even going to go there. And that's like a snowball effect because if you keep doing that, that person is eventually going to lose all respect for you and they're going to be able to think that they can do and say anything um, when it comes to you. They'll be able to talk crazy to you, um, do stuff, just whatever. Like nothing's off the table at that point once they see that in you. So um, I know I'm not jumping into a whole bunch of details. Um, I might, I don't know, if people care about watching a video like this, I might make a uh, a few more videos to talk about specific things but I don't want to make this video super long but I just wanted to remind people that when you are being kind to somebody that's not being kind back you can't just pour on all this kindness and expect that person to all of a sudden change because you're being good to them that's not gonna happen what's gonna happen is you're gonna get used you're gonna get taken advantage of because this person is gonna think to themselves man I think they'll overlook anything I think they'll forgive me for anything and we can keep moving no matter how disrespectful I am no matter how just rude nasty I can be no matter how much I lie or whatever they'll accept it because they always overlook it, you know, now. So when you do that, you don't give that other person an incentive to be better. And looking at the situation, man, I should have just, I should have been out a long time ago. I stayed in it and put myself in a position to be disrespected time after time after time. And I'm blessed because if I were of a weaker mindset, that could have really done some damage to me moving forward. And it could have made me hate women and just all kinds of things. I remember the last time I saw her, I knew I was cutting her off. But I like to do stuff, you know, smooth. I don't like to just, I don't always like to announce what I'm doing. So the last time I saw this girl, excuse me, I got a little bit of ice in my mouth, but the last time I saw this girl, I knew I was cutting her off. I met her at Walmart to let her borrow some money. And, you know, she took that, she, she needed to borrow 20 bucks for whatever. She always needed something. And I gave it to her. And she walked away thinking that, oh, you know, I'll probably see him again. But that was the last time she saw me. She tried to friend me on Facebook. She tried to send me messages, apologizing for her previous behavior, all that kind of stuff. But I was, I was done at that point. I just cut it off. And she didn't realize what was happening at that time. And, you know, just looking back on it now, I don't even know who that person was. Um, I'm talking about myself now. I don't even know who I was during that time. Like, it's unrecognizable to me now because I would never allow myself to be disrespected. I'm too much of a king. That's my mindset. That's how you should feel. If you're a guy, you should feel like a king. If you're a woman, you should feel like a queen. You know? You should feel like royalty. You should feel like you deserve to be respected. You should demand that. See? But... Looking at myself then, I can't even recognize that person. And like I said, I would never have thought that I would have been in a situation like that. But I got there because I was trying to be too nice. I was showing too much compassion and just overlooking things. Um, to all you nice people out there, I'm not telling you to start being mean, evil to people, man, but you need to check your generosity sometimes because if you're being so generous to a person that's not uh, respecting you 
and that's taking it for granted, then you're probably, I think the Bible says something about casting your pearls before swine. Basically, you're doing all these good deeds and being this wonderful person to somebody that doesn't deserve it. And I, I think it's easy for nice people to fall into that trap. So don't do it. Don't do it. If you're in a relationship like that, I'm not telling you to leave uh, your partner, but you might want to reevaluate that and get off to yourself, get calm, get quiet, read your Bible if you need to do that, you know, sip you some juice and think about things if you need to do that, and figure out where you need to um, go from there. So, this video is... It's food for thought. I don't know if I'll make another video like this again, but if people want to hear, um, people want to hear more videos like this, I mean, just let me know in the comment section. Like I said, there was so many things that happened in that situation. I can really make a ton of videos just from that and just getting into more specific like details about certain things that happened and um, how I mishandled the situation. So, um, are you in a situation like that? Have you been in a situation like that? You got a friend in a situation like that? Leave it in the comment section, man. Um, typically on this channel, I mean, I talk about different things here and there, um, but I usually review jewelry. So if you love jewelry, definitely watch the next, um, videos that are, that are going to be coming up here soon um i bought like i think it was like three or four items from a popular hip-hop jewelry uh website so those are going to be dope so make sure you stay tuned and check those videos out watch the other videos on this channel check out my other channel where i drop my music and with that being said that's the end of this video man i'm out Peace. look Instagram fingers when they see him Say it to my face, not an Instagram DM What it might cause next, wouldn't want to be him A dumb threat will get your sunset like the PM When you go about your problems the wrong way And bring my name in it, you gon' make it a long day Had your fam singing, missing you with a long face All because you threatening to spit in the wrong face People talk loud till you see them in the public Stand on what you say, the consequences what you stuck with Catch me on the off night you know you lost, right? My gun barrel started smoking like exhaust pipes Now your family dressing off-white When they bury you, bet you never thought that's what it cost, right? Talk and stay talk and really go nowhere So leave it where it is, nigga You don't wanna go there Crying for my pay to